Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Tuesday, January 5th, 2021 by Gaia Blumi. Hi Mimi. Hi you guys. And our energy mantra for today is, it is my responsibility to find balance. And I'm tired. This energy today wore me out. So you're getting hand Mimi today. Um, Astro-wise, we don't have too, too much going on, but definitely a few things to take note of. The first thing that I think is kind of interesting is Lilith, Black Moon Lilith, has shifted into Gemini. Now, if you guys listen to me a lot, you know that the true Black Moon Lilith energy oscillates. So she's constantly moving around. Just like, you know, feminine energy, like where is it going to go? This way, that way, who knows? So Lilith has shifted into Gemini. We'll be back in Taurus soon. Um, but with Lilith and Gemini, <laughs> now I'm definitely not suggesting any censoring of the self. But do realize when Lilith is in Gemini, you may find yourself speaking from the soul. And not everybody always wants to hear that. <laughs> so again, not suggesting any kind of suppression of that, just the realization <laughs> that you may find yourself speaking and getting interesting looks because a lot of people aren't on that Lilith, I will honor my soul, come hell or high water kind of energy. So Lilith and Gemini, that's the first thing. Also, that could feed into the other thing that is important to take note of, Mars. We have Mars in its last full day in Aries. Now, it won't shift into Taurus until Wednesday afternoon. Um, so, you know, we still have like a good day and a half of this Mars 29 degree energy, but that can make us really reactive. Uh it can amplify our both our passions and our frustrations. So just realize that and between any reactivity with Mars and I just, I keep seeing like, I know you can't see me, but <laughs> hand over mouth, like, oops, that just slipped out. And if it slips out, it's meant to be. But just realize the combination of those energies may be a little bit potent for some people's palettes. Um, that being said, we have the moon in Libra and the moon in Libra may keep us, may keep us harmonized and balanced. Who knows? Let's see. Um, the moon in Libra is connecting very early in the morning hours with both Saturn and Jupiter. So for those of us in the States through many of this or much of this will be sleeping. Um, but it feels like this again, like those things that feel harmonious, the things like within you that like light you up when you think about those align with those. That's part, such a strong part of the energy of Aquarius is the visionary energy. And so like Libra is like, what feels good when you think about it? Think more about that, align with that and don't compromise yourself. That don't compromise card can also go hand in hand with that Lilith energy. Um, so again, it's kind of like a quieter Astro Day, which is good because, you know, incoming shifts and yet uh, between the Lilith energy and the Mars energy, we're sure to be still very activated. I also have the slowing down card and I really liken that to the Mars energy. Also taking note of um, fire energy. <laughs> Uh, about an hour before doing this video, I had a candle sitting here and it like the glass exploded. So Mars at the final degree of Aries can amplify that kind of that kind of thing too. So again, whether it's inside you or around you, just take note and be aware. Um, I also have the morality card, which that could be like that Saturn moon connection. Again, when it comes to like morals, you know, you're entitled to your own and what your vision is and what's right for you. This is the card I meant. But don't compromise. Like, don't compromise based on other people's morals, other people's shoulds. So be aware of that because part of that Aquarius energy can be like, well, the way I do the one thing, we should all do the one thing. Like, let's all do this together. And what's aligned for you may not necessarily be aligned for me and vice versa. And that's okay. And we all have to find what that alignment is without being harassed or harangued into it. 
Uh, so I'm going to leave that here for today. <laughs> uh, you can book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power. And stay curious. But I also want to say stay Lilithy. <laughs> Namaste.